Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some XCOM 2. So this is my first real foray into this type of game genre. But uh, I tried this out on stream and had a great time and decided to make this into a YouTube campaign. I do want to let you know that I haven't played XCOM 1, um, never tried it, and I don't really understand the plot behind this whole game, but I like the gameplay, so we're going to dive in, experience the game as we can, and uh, kind of go from there. As far as the intro and, like, tutorial and also, like, most of the cinematics, I think we'll probably play most of them, um, just so that you can kind of experience the story with me, because, again, I don't know what's happening and I'd like to kind of figure it out as we go. Uh, we will be playing on Commander difficulty, even though I don't have a lot of experience with the game, because I tried on Veteran difficulty and it felt pretty easy in the beginning. Of course, the beginning is probably easier than normal, but uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so let's, by all means, get started. We're going to play without my Iron Man mode, just in case we make a fatal mistake and don't want to salvage, like, lose the entire campaign. To build as city centers across the globe, prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Who are the elders? What is he talking about? Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. I doubt that. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to record all suspicious activity. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. He's probably got a knife. Knife in his pocket. Happens to me all the time in the airport. I love the music. Music's great. Makes it feel really epic. The aliens have had long enough to establish their peaceful enclaves within the city centers. It's time we move in and show them the fight isn't over yet. We're deploying to hit a high-profile target, one that they won't be able to cover up so easily. Move to secure the target site and eliminate any hostile contacts in the area. All right, cool. Mission number one. Start of the game, so should be fairly straightforward. Hopefully. Rookie. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Got a rookie with a bandana. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Yeah, check her out. She's awesome. Cool. Alright, so we need to get all the way over to here. Nice little building cover that they gave us. We're in concealment, which means that the enemy can't see us unless we come too close. So we can afford to do dash moves. 
Step we'll go ahead and speed up the you know first couple turns here, just to run over there. Bandana chick, gonna go up there. From now on, her name will be henceforth Bandana chick. Move, move, move. Don't actually have to watch the animation if we don't want to. Uh, we would like to stay in cover, so we will do that just in case. You never know. I've I've had lots of people tell me, you know, never, 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 ever. Stepping off. Leave a unit not in cover. Okay, no enemies detected. We'd like to keep our height advantage. Every floor of height, as far as I know, gives about a 20% hit bonus. But it looks like we need to move a little bit closer to actually get to the statue. So we're going to have to lose some height to come down here. Um, we'd prefer heavy, high cover. like, But nothing we can really find here. It's just all... Oh, we got uh, some sort of a sensor tower right there. It's too bad. All these stuff is just high, low cover. I keep calling it high and low, you know? Um... Or like heavy and something, but it's all high. High and low. I need to kind of get that stuck in my head. You know, there's a ladder right there. You didn't have to make all that noise. There we go. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Good deal. Obedience. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Rolling. Oh, nope. that is not at all where I meant to tell you to go. You're going to have to take another move to get back to where you're supposed to be. We're not going to do anything on this turn at all. I think we're just going to... You know what? Let's go ahead and... We'll do dash moves. There's really no reason to... Let's make sure we're exactly where we want to be. Um, I think we're in range, right? You have a shot. You don't. You don't. So only you are close enough to hit these guys. So we're going to have to kind of really... Get up in this corner. Understood. Moving out. Could even try to get somebody down on the ground. Might not be bad. I know cars can explode, so we gotta be a bit cautious about that, but uh, it's not on fire yet, so we should be fine, right? In theory. Okay, they are definitely all in the open from here. Everyone but you has a shot right now. We can get down to here, but that's probably going to preclude your ability to shoot from that angle. This is kind of a bad spot to be. Could try to get around here and shoot from here. But again, that puts us near a car, which I don't Heading like. That location. They're probably going to path more to the right, I assume, right? Here, tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and okay. move up one more spot. We're gonna have you advance up to here. Heading to that location. Just keep two up on the high ground for better accuracy. You're near the target position. Let's end this turn, let them move a little bit more. And I think we're gonna prep our ambush here. Let's hope that it goes well. So one of the differences, one of the reasons why I'm using uh, commander difficulty is that these guys on the lower difficulty only have three HP. And grenades can kill them just in like one hit, which made the game feel like kind of ridiculously easy. Okay, everybody's got a shot. Just letting us know that uh, you apparently... No, you have no cover. You're exposed because your your flank protection is from this direction. And this game uses a really weird definition of flank. To them, flanking... Like, in my in my mind, flanking is, uh, you know, like, civilian civilization style. Like, I'm attacking you directly and someone else is attacking you from the side or behind and therefore you're flanked and then you take bonus damage. In this game, flanking is more like... Um, if this if this person has protection from everything, she's got high uh, low cover from everything on this line that way. And if anyone else shoots at her, then that's considered flanking. It's regardless of the number of units. It could be a single unit that flanks. So we need to move her, I think, down to here. Position confirmed. Even though we're going to lose the high ground advantage, she is now going to have protection from this plane. Everything from this 180 degree side. So uh, we'll go ahead and put you in Overwatch. The question is, do we want to open with a grenade, or do we want to just shoot at them and hope that we get lucky? We can't actually quite get up that far. I think we're going to open with a grenade. Moving to designated coordinates. Got it covered. No reason not to use them. Let's go ahead and bomb this area. 
So everyone's in Overwatch, which means that uh, we get to shoot at them for free when they try to run. Again, if we were playing on the lower difficulty, they'd all just be dead right now. We're Excellent. Sweet. Perfect ambush. Good job. So, um, now we are no longer in concealment, which means that, uh, if this person, like, moves forward and we see an enemy, which actually we see an enemy right now, which means that, uh, they can, if I can see them, they can see me. So we are in combat. Like, we can't just, you know, move forward. So we're going to want to keep our defensive position, I think. Um, he's not in Overwatch or anything. We're going to go ahead and go up to here. Moving to position. We're use these pillars to our advantage to come right up against this thing, I think. I'm going to keep one guy up on the hill, maybe. He's kind of far out of range, actually. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab you. You can't quite make it there. I'd really like for you to be closer to the battle. But it's low cover. Here we go. Why don't you come down here? I know it's going to take up both of your moves. Actually, you know what? Let's just shuffle them. Understood. Moving out. You go to this high cover. And then you, sir... Hao Chen can come and take her spot. Moving on target location. You're gonna kind of wrap around over this way, apparently. Moving so he's out. got she, Kate Jackson, has high cover from the left. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. That popped the pod. Apparently, that's a term people use in this game. So we do get to play out the remainder of our turn. Um, but they did lose the, uh, you know, they, they took cover. So, uh, we've got low chances to hit. We can try to destroy cover with frag grenades. We can just try to do overwatch. But the difference is, when you overwatch when you are not in concealment, you have a 30% accuracy penalty when you try to take a shot at a moving target. And it can actually be as much as a 30% plus a 30% multiplicative. So about a 50% accuracy penalty if they take a dash move, which is where they move two tiles or two of their move orders. So, at this point, like, Overwatch is not our ideal. Uh, we'd rather not use that if we don't have to. I think we could easily kill that guy. We're gonna want to kill this guy before he marks one of us, I think. Alright, let's just confirm. No one's in Overwatch. This guy's got the best cover. So, we probably want to kill... Oh, I, would, I just really want to kill all of them. The more of them we kill, the less likely they are to, uh, to be able to hurt us. Everyone only has one move left, right? They could easily flank this guy if they move to here, to this pillar. I think this guy could flank him. I don't think that this guy could. Only a 41% chance to hit. We need to do 6 damage. And we definitely can't destroy that cover. Why don't we, if we can, if we can reach, we'll throw 2 grenades. I don't think we can actually get it. Ah, oh, so close! Okay, I don't like his position. He's too far forward. We're going to back you off to here if if we can kill that guy. So, let's go ahead and waste a grenade. And by waste, I mean, you know, use. Oh, can't even quite hit him. We can destroy the cover, I think. It should destroy the, the bench. Which takes him out of cover. Giving us a guarantee, not guaranteed, but a very good chance to hit. You're the one that needs to retreat, not you. You could actually take this shot. Let me use you, though. 65% chance to hit. 40% chance to be crit. Come on. Crush fingers. Nice. Good deal. It's down. Okay. So now you two. If you come all the way out here, you're gonna. it's too far for you. But you could get to there, so we need to move you here, I think. That's affirmative. That protects us from this 180 degree plane. Same thing here. Okay. Actually, you would probably have been okay. I could have put you in Overwatch, but. Okay, he's marked us. Hit advantage. I don't know what the percentage is, but. And he's going into Overwatch. He's not even trying to move. Okay, 
Good thing we had high cover. High cover gives a 40% chance to miss. So, he only probably had like a 30 or 40% chance to hit, so it's a good thing that we did that. We still have more grenades. Looks like that actually can't destroy this high cover, though. Alright. It's rather unfortunate. We got one more grenade. Now, he's in Overwatch. If we can do damage to him, it'll take his Overwatch off. It's just such a low chance. I th think... We need to just take the chance, though, because if I advance, well, I could overwatch myself. But he can easily shoot at uh, any of these people. I'm concerned about this marked character getting killed. Hmm. I should have used the grenade to break his overwatch so that we could advance, because now I've got characters kind of pinned down. Twenty-five percent chance to hit is really bad. This is twenty-five percent again. Aim chance sixty-five, high cover forty percent. It's not very good. But if we fire three rounds at him, there's a chance, there's a pretty good chance we'll kill this guy, but then who knows what this guy's gonna do in the next turn. Ah, oh, it's a bad positioning. Bad. Alright, gotta get back used to playing this game again. It's been like a week since I did my stream, so. We're gonna try to take the hit. Draining ammo fast! Alright. Sweet. We got three turns to pick up some loot. Looks like over here. Now again, I believe if I take this shot, I do this move, that he could shoot at me. He wouldn't be able to hit anything over here, but he could definitely shoot at everything in this area. So you, yeah, you're just gonna have to, uh, to go into Overwatch. Got it covered. No idea why that thing broke. Nice hit, nice Overwatch, damn. That's sweet. So ah, shoot. I hoping we get a flawless first, first one, but... From here, uh, since he's not in Overwatch, I think we want to... If we use a grenade, it'll destroy any loot, so we don't want to use a grenade. We're just gonna run behind him and uh, shoot him in the back. This will also pick up the loot. Got an auto loader. This weapon will grant a limited number of free reloads to any weapon and a PCS will focus. Or like a will. Got something new. Will focus, cool. Shoot him in the back. Well, he's gonna turn around. <laughs> okay. Target disabled. Well, we did get one character hit, Here which is, is unfortunate. Sure. Due to the mark. Picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Closing on target position now. On the move. Let's go ahead and plant the X four. Menace 1 5. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. It is entirely possible that we could have gotten through this mission without taking a hit. Only one soldier was wounded, no one's killed, so. We're not gonna try to like min-max, you know, and always always beat every mission flawlessly. I think as long as we don't lose characters, we'll be in a pretty good spot. Dude, your bandana, like, how can anyone understand you? Really like the way that we opened up on the first pop. That was pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna have some cinematics to watch. This is what happens all the time. I'm glad to see our troops finding success in the field. It's good for the entire crew's morale. 
Everyone got a promotion, which Just is excellent. Like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage. We'll look at them a little bit closer soon. Just gonna kind of tab through their promotions. Your first four promotions are always gonna be the same, so we're gonna have one of each character class. We've got a specialist, a grenadier, a ranger, and a sharpshooter. We got our auto loader, our our will focus. We picked up five advent trooper corpse and one advent officer corpse. So there's an advantage, I think, to not using grenades to kill any enemies. You get more loot. Grenades blow stuff up. Soldiers shaken, reduced will. Soldiers with a reduced will are more susceptible to panic and psionic attacks. Soldiers with a reduced will can recover by participating in successful combat missions and staying healthy. Commander right. to the research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Alright, cool. So, our first research is probably going to be modular weapons, so that we can use the equipment that we just found, the loot. I do find so, that area of research to be among the... Go ahead and get that started. Hey, look, it's Shen. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. <laughs> Does anyone else find it strange how you have all these one-way conversations? Like... <laughs> It was an honor to meet you. I didn't say anything to you. Like, what, you're just going to decide the conversation's over? Anyway, all right. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here. We're going to take a break, and in the next episode, we'll do some more missions and uh, kind of go from there. So, as always, if you want to show your support for the new series, uh, feel free to click the like button, leave a comment, or do neither of the above. It's up to you, um, but I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.